Hello, this is a video to go over the basics of how to use the deck swiper component. Um, and in this example, we're just going to use uh, bicycles. They're going to maybe say if they like it or not. So I've already got that collection set up um, um, with an image property, which will be what is on the deck card. Um, and I've not done anything with users yet, but let's get going. Um, so first, we want to put in our deck swiper and it's going to be a deck of bicycles. And then it's gonna come up with all of those records. We're not gonna filter it at the moment. Um, and they're gonna be able to swipe left or right. Um, so let's just check we've got it set up, what the card is. Uh, the image is the current bicycle image. Okay, that field there. So if we click on preview, okay, we can start swiping. Okay, and it doesn't do anything because we haven't added any actions yet, but we can start to do that now. Um, so let's keep it simple. When they swipe right, they like it, and when they swipe left, they don't like it. So on the users, we'll have a relationship with bicycles. A user can have multiple bicycles, a bicycle can have multiple users. Okay, I'm going to call this liked. Okay, and on the other side, you can see a relationship with users was just created, and we need to rename that to um, liked by. And then let's do another relationship um, to bicycles, many to many, and this can be uh, disliked. And under bicycles again, um, that users relationship that got created make sure to rename it otherwise you will get confused disliked by um, so now when we go back to our deck swiper um, right swipe um, will be like and left swipe um, can be dislike and then let's go down here to actions okay um, so click actions that would be when you click on a card so let's use it let's add an action when you click on a card for link new screen uh, big photo let's make it a modal screen and change that transition to modal you can see here it's created this modal screen so I'm just going to stretch that out to be uh, most of the screen and get the button at the bottom and let's have an image okay and it will be database current bicycle image okay um, so that's just the normal click function and if we go on now and click on a bicycle it's going to open up um, a full-sized image Okay, so that's how that part of the deck swiper works. Um, so now let's go back to actions and do something for left swipe. Well, when they left swipe, they don't like it. So we're going to update logged in user, disliked, add current bicycle. And on the right swipe action, um, add action, update logged in user, liked, add current bicycle. Um, so with these swipe actions, we're creating relationships with what we've done up here. Um, and finally, um, one thing we want is that um, when they go back to the deck, um, we don't want them to see the same bike twice. So let's have a relationship with bicycles from user to um, again. Um, and this one can be swiped. Okay, so once they've swiped a bike, we don't want them to see it twice. On the other side here, um, let's rename where it created that relationship to swiped by. Okay, so now on the swipe actions, we also want to um, update the user, swiped, add current bicycle. And on the other action, swiped, add current bicycle um, so that's adding a relationship each time you swipe to say they've already um, they've already seen it and how do we stop it now 
um, showing them again if they go back to the deck. So let's add a filter on the deck itself. Okay, and we're going to add a filter. Okay, and it, the filter is going to be users swiped um, all. Um, does not contain logged in user. Okay, there we go. Um, so it's all the bicycles except for the ones that have been swiped by the user. So it does not contain logged in user. Um, so we just need to change the welcome page here so that it's going to make me log in. And then we can try that. Yep, let's preview. Okay, so uh, swipe, 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 swipe. Okay, um, we reached the end of the deck, but now if we go back to the database and go to our user, uh, we can see he has swiped five bicycles. So because of our filter we added on a deck, if we go back now, we shouldn't see a deck at all because he's already swiped all of the bicycles. As you can see, nothing has loaded because of that filter there. So then, of course, we could have maybe a new page with um, disliked, copy that, and have liked. Okay, the liked page can link to a new screen, liked bikes. And on this screen, we can have a list, maybe a simple list. In fact, no, let's have a custom list. It's a list of bicycles, logged in user, liked. And all I really want in the list is the images of those bicycles. So that's going to be the current bicycle image. And then I'm just going to copy and paste that screen and have a disliked bikes. And then we're just going to change the list to a list of bicycles that the logged in user disliked. And then just set up that link disliked to go to the new page I just created. Okay, so let's have a look now. Okay, of course, there's still no bikes coming up because we've already swiped all of them with this user. But we can go and look at the bikes we've liked. Okay, we can see three of them there. And we can see the ones that we've disliked. Okay, um, and one last thing, we have an action at the end of the deck. So once there are no cards left, what happens? So again, it's not a bad um, idea, depending on what you want to do. Let's make a new screen. I'm going to call it finished. And it's going to be modal screen. Make sure the transition is modal. OK, and here I can just say you have finished swiping the deck. All right, so that will pop up at the end of the deck. Um, let's just run through it one more time. And what I'm going to do is, on my user, remove all of those uh, swiped bicycles. And if we remove all of them, we can just play with our deck again. All right, so let's preview. And our deck is back. Let's swipe through them, and halfway, let's go and check our liked bikes. Um, and our relationships from before are still there, Okay, which is what we'd expect. So yeah, let's just finish swiping, get through the whole deck, and we've got you are finished swiping the deck. Okay, so I hope that gives you a good outline of the setup of the deck swiper, and if you have any questions, do let me know.